Hi guys, it's Hannah and welcome back to the Dyslexic Reader. Today I wanted to talk about a topic that's been on my mind for a couple of weeks but it's quite scary to talk about and that would be drama in the book community. And I don't mean between creators so much, although that can happen sometimes too, but more like controversial things that happen in terms of books, authors, the content, publishers, things like that. That I find really scary to talk about and really hard to navigate so I wanted to get your guys insights do you feel the same way do you not do you have any thing that might help me to educate myself better because I feel like it's an absolute minefield one of the problems I have is that it seems to take place everywhere you could post an Instagram post about a book and they expect you to know about an incident that happened on Twitter or Reddit or YouTube and not anyone can Although I have a book Twitter and I have a bookstagram and I have this channel and I have Goodreads, you can't keep on top of everything and um, in terms of who's saying what to who, especially I think when I don't follow a lot of the bigger names uh, that seem to stir, not stir all this stuff up, but the bigger names seem to be like more involved with these sorts of conversations and smaller people just seem to keep their nose out a wee bit more I think. And that's not a positive or a negative, that's just in my opinion how I view it. So I find it really hard to keep on top of. I'll say I read a book and loved it and people say, oh, like, um, so-and-so, the author is homophobic or whatever it is. And a genuine question, are we meant to research an author before we read a book? Like, I'm not being funny, is this a genuine question? So do you, when you guys start a book or you go to talk about a book online, do you look up the author? and see if there's any controversies related to their past before you either read about the book or read the book or talk about it online because sometimes I feel as if that's kind of what it's coming to that before I talk about a book or review it on my channel I want to look into the author which some people may find fine like fine I find that takes a lot of fun out of them especially if you're reading the book beforehand um this kind of would link into the whole cancel culture thing at the minute too which I'm not for or against I think it's a bit weird um but I can see its negatives and its positives and I think that's kind of what it's linking into and we need to stop assuming in general right or wrong we need to stop assuming that knowledge is shared so you might think how could you not know that I can't think of anybody that I've read that would be problematic but I might let's say I bought a book in a charity shop recently in bloom by CJ Scouse um I don't know anything about that author um am I meant to google that author and also if there was controversy and you think oh everyone should know but like I haven't heard anything about it so I think we need to stop assuming that if there's controversy around an author be like oh sure everyone knows he's misogynistic then like not everyone could know I know a lot of people on YouTube do not have other bookish platforms they just like filming videos and posting them and they don't really interact much on Twitter or Bookstagram or any other that thing which seems to be where most of it takes place I can never find anything about any of this stuff on YouTube which is where I consume most of my bookish content and um, there's never videos discussing problematic authors or certainly not that I find if you have found those please tell me and educate me and put it down below and I think that's what it comes to it comes down to educating people when it comes to these topics I don't think we can assume that everyone knows everything about every author and I also don't think that we should assume that everyone has the responsibility to google every aspect of every author's life before they pick up a book or before they enjoy a book and I think a lot of the time it comes to like how dare you like that book how dare you how could you um when it needs to be more educated education in the approach so instead of saying how dare you like that book did you not know that the author said this um how about I'm glad that you enjoyed the book but just to let you know um the author has said some whatever things in the past then you may want to look into it. I think that's a, an approach that we've kind of lost in our kind of justice warrior kind of outlook on things and I'm not saying that that's a bad thing Um, I think a gentler approach is needed especially for people like myself who don't live on the internet. I miss all of these things and I see people vaguely reference them and I have no idea 
what they're about and I don't even know where to begin in looking up these things. I just find books that look interesting to me from the synopsis and read them and if I enjoy them I enjoy them. Comes into another whole scenario where we have to talk about separating the art and the artist. Personally I find that I don't have any problem doing this but I understand that some people do and I think that we also need to be a bit open-minded in this and realise that just because you think that the author is a terrible person you could not possibly enjoy their works. Other people can still acknowledge that the author was horrible and like tell people when they're talking about the book like look you may want to look into this like not a good person but they can still enjoy the work in my opinion that's possible and I think we need to understand that other people have different degrees of doing this I don't want to get into the whole JK Rowling debate um what she said was horrible and I do not stand by it by any by any means but I have never given her a penny I bought all my books second hand um, I've never bought any licensed merch or anything. I've never bought or watched the movies. Um, so I'm not going to destroy those books that I like and give me a lot of comfort when I go back to reread. I certainly won't be giving the girl any support, any money. And anytime she comes up in conversation, I will be sure to let people know that she says horrible things. But I don't think I need to go and burn my books because I do enjoy reading them they're a lot of comfort to me like just before bedtime sometimes I'll pick it up and read a random chapter and it helps me sleep and she didn't get any money for me because I bought the lot second hand off eBay because I didn't read the books till I was well in my 20s and they were all out and I just bought the whole thing so she never got any money from me she certainly won't and I will be quick to tell people what she's done wrong but for me I can still enjoy the series as long as I'm not supporting her and the majority of my books come secondhand anyway so as long as I am stating that there may be problems with the author I don't think I'm really financially benefiting the author Um, a lot of my books come from secondhand shops or libraries so there's not that much of an issue there in my opinion for my personal circumstances and I completely understand that everyone's different and I think we need to for some people this is a job reviewing books talking about books having a booktube channel having a bookstagram is a job and I think we need to just differentiate between those and people that just do it for fun I just love reading I just go to my library I don't do much research I pick up what looks fun and I read it and I come on here and tell you guys that it's fun I had a good time talk about my favorite characters and I think there is a slight differentiation between that and people who like our sponsorships, paid to promote books, even ads in their videos. Um, I think they have a wee bit more of a responsibility to make sure that they're making it very clear around certain topics. Also talk to me on that one, I'm up for debate on that one. And now I'm starting to get nervous that I'm going to get absolutely raked over the coals for this. But if that's what it comes to, that's what it comes to. <coughs> so I've been ringing day the whole video. I've been having um like a tickly cough for the last couple of days, and that's why I didn't post last week because I had a sore throat. So that's why I've been drinking tea constantly through this to try and soothe my throat so that I could actually talk for 10 minutes. So I'm gonna leave it here. I really really I'm very open-minded on basically every point that I covered here so I would love to talk to you in the comments below just please if you have a differing view to me or to anyone else that you're talking with down there try to keep it respectful and as I said like hey but did you know this rather than how could you not know blank you know just keep it friendly and open I hope you're all happy I hope you're all healthy and hopefully I'll see you in my next video goodbye